We're just out here walking along this trail at Robbins Air Force Base. I'm sure we'll probably see some things up here ahead. And if we do, we'll get back and uh, I'll share that with you. Good to talk to y'all. God bless. All right, we're back. We just got finished walking about 15 miles on some steep terrain. And as you can tell, we're this terrain's more level and a lot more shaded. Uh, if I see anything interesting along the way or my beautiful wife right here who's been along with me for the way sees anything, we'll let you know. Just found something interesting. We are walking along this trail and there's a sign here. Warning, firing range, keep out. And let me tell you what, they're serious. These people over here are popping off guns left and right. And I think we're, we're, we're about to leave, but just look. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all hear that? It's time we got to go. Uh, I'll let you know if there's anything else interesting we come across. All right, so me and my beautiful wife have made it to a uh, possible shelter we're gonna stay in tonight. That's uh, this is Duck Lake Shelter. It's built by the federal work program that Theodore Roosevelt had put in the session back in 1945. And that's probably where we'll stay, but I'm gonna, I, I wanna show y'all something that's very interesting. We Where we're staying at, is a lake and we haven't been seen a lake yet we've been on this trail for hours i think we're on about number 10 hour number 10 this is the first lake we've come across but look at that lake get over here man let them see us in that wood lake but i did some research in this lake 75 years ago a giant ice meteorite landed right here and blew out the hole and then all the ice melted and we got this lake right here. But I just thought that was something cool. I just want to share it with y'all. But uh, we're going to maybe stay at this shelter. Maybe keep walking. I think there's a shelter on up there, maybe. Well. We might can go five, five or six more miles in. We'll keep y'all posted. Hey, we're back. I didn't realize how huge this lake is. Uh, we've probably been walking for about an hour and a half now and we're still right here by this lake and thought about staying back there at that shelter but some more hikers came in and there just wasn't really enough room for all of us so we're gonna try to make it up here there's a shelter up ahead we're gonna try and get to if not i'm calling ahead maybe there's a hostel if we can make it to the road we got a possible shuttle a nice man named jeremy he said he'd pick us up there if we can make it in time and i'm if I got reception out here, I'm gonna call Jeremy in a little bit and let him know that, yeah, we want that shuttle for the hostel because I don't know if we can stand another day out here. Uh, we need some rest, need some nutrition. I think a man that needs a shower. Uh, and, but we're just gonna keep hiking. And I'm telling you right now, I thought I was in shape, but we're like mile 27 right now. And I really hope to get up here to this, to see Jeremy. Maybe we can get that, hot, that shuttle. He can drive us out to the hostel. But I'll, we'll keep y'all informed. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, got up on a high ridge back there, and I was able to call Jeremy. And he's going to pick us up. We just got about, I don't know, seven more miles to hike. We're staying at a hostel tonight. I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited about that. Uh, I've read the reviews, a lot of stuff online about the, the hostel. Like I said, Amanda, she needs a shower bath. Uh, me, I'm, I'm good. I, I hadn't showered in about two days, but I'm ready to use a, you know, porcelain toilet. You know, this stuff out here, I ain't real used to burying my poop. So I am looking forward to staying at this hostel. It's called the Ignico Inn. And uh, it's a really nice hostel from what I understand. We'll just, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up there. I can, we'll be refreshed and ready to continue this, this war town trike. It's called the, it's called the war town 75, 75 mile war town hike. But, uh, probably get back with y'all when we get up here to this, uh, parking area Jeremy's going to be at. But 
we still got seven miles. Maybe we'll see something interesting if we do along the way. We'll share that with y'all. Oh, there is one thing. Uh, you'll notice up ahead, water. Water's real hard to come by out here. I mean, they have these old relics of, uh, you see that? That's, that's a relic. There's no water in that. I wish there was. Me and Amanda, we used the last bit of our water, I don't know, five hours ago. And uh, i tell you what I have now. So you see this right here? That's a uh, trash can to keep bears out. You know, bears are bad out here. We probably would not beat the sun, but that one bear back there was chasing us. And we, we gained a good good bit of miles with that, him chasing but he didn't, he didn't catch us. But we're gonna go up here and see Jeremy. All right, peace out. Hey, we're back. Got Jeremy driving us to the hostel. Thank goodness, I'm telling you. We didn't, we bit off a lot more than we probably could chew today and I'm paying for it right now, but thank goodness we're gonna be getting to this Ignico Inn hostel. Amanda, you doing all right? I'm tired and I'm thirsty, baby. We're Jeremy's running all over kind of bumps, but uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Jeremy. And uh, people will we'll keep y'all updated. Uh, probably have another video coming out in a few days, uh, depending on, you know, cell phone reception. Uh, but uh, we're gonna keep going. We're not getting up. We're not giving up. Uh, peace y'all. God bless. Hope everybody's doing well. Bye.